Hey guys, I'm doing a giveaway on my YouTube channel. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a Breakers of Shadow booster box, which is first edition. So to enter, just click that subscribe button, and that's it. Enjoy the video. Hey, what is spawn people? It is your boy Blank Page coming at you with another video. And what you guys are come watch today is my YG Pro Death Row card update video for April 4th, 2016. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. Go ahead and smash me, and if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe down below for my Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon content. I try to upload daily, so hopefully you guys are down for that shit. Alright, so they added 8 new cards in total, 5 of which are monsters, 3 of which are spell cards, 1 of which is a Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl spell card, and the other two are Tramid spell cards. So, let's just jump right into it with the first card right here, which is DD Savant Thomas, which is a level 8 Dark Fiend type Pendulum Monster. Its Pendulum effect reads that during your main phase, you can add one face up DD Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand, and you can only activate this effect once per turn. So, looks like a pretty decent Pendulum effect. Its Monster effect reads that you can target one DD card. In your pendulum zone, any battle damage your opponent takes becomes halved for the rest of this turn. Also, destroy that card. And if you do, special summon one level 8 DDD monster from your deck in defense position. Or face up defense position, I would assume. But its effects are negated uh, this turn. So, overall, this card looks pretty decent for DD decks or DDD decks. So, uh, pretty cool that we have this card now on Death Pro. And its card art looks pretty nice in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, let's just move on to the next card, which is a Tramid Master card. It's a Tramid card, and uh, Tramids are going to be a new deck coming to Yu-Gi-Oh, I guess. So, uh, it looks pretty cool. The card it looks nice. It is a level 4 Earth Rock type monster with 800 attack and 700 defense. Its effect reads that once per turn, you can send one face-up Tramid card you control to the graveyard. It doesn't matter which one. And then you can target one set card on the field and you can destroy it once per turn during your opponent's turn you can target one tramid spe field spell card you control sent to the graveyard and if you do activate one tramid spell card from your deck with a different name from that spell card uh, this is a quick effect so this is a very odd effect so i presume that the field spell cards do very awesome things so we'll get to those field spell cards after we get all through all the rest of the cards uh, but Tremus Master seems like a pretty cool uh, searching kind of card, I would say, for Tramid, so I would like to see what he can do. The other card here is called Meteor Hukai Device Duja, which is a level 4 light machine with 1600 attack and 1600 defense. Its effect reads that if this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one Hukai card from your deck to the graveyard. Once per turn, during either player's turn, if a monster was sent to the, your graveyard this turn, you can make this card gain 200 attack for each monster with a different name in your graveyard until the end of this turn. So I can see that this card could be very overpowered in like a berserker soul deck or you know just decks that require the graveyard so this card just seems like it could be very very awesome in those kind of decks i would like to see how much attack this thing can actually get up to uh it just seems like a very very cool card uh, a very otk kind of card and it's a, a card art looks awesome as well so uh pretty Pretty hyped about that, pretty hyped to get this card in general, so I might mess around with this card just to see how much attack I can actually get it up to, see if I can pull off an OTK with it, and uh, yeah, pretty awesome that we have this card. Moving onwards, we have Marshmallow Karen. It definitely resembles Marshmallow art-wise. It is a level 1 light fairy type. Its effect reads that if this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can special summon up to two other Marshmallow Karen from your hand, deck, or graveyard, and you can only use the effect of Marshmallow Karen once per turn. So, it does look like a pretty decent card. Uh, I assume that if you get a bunch of Marshmallow Karens together, they all do something or, you know, something of that. Or maybe that they might just be for uh, XCs. I don't know. But uh, it, its art is definitely silly, and I'm glad that we have this card now. Magic Expand is a very, very awesome Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl uh, spell card. So its effect reads that you can apply these effects in sequence depending on the total number of copies of Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl on the field and in the graveyard. Keep that in mind, graveyard, so you don't even have to have them on the field. One or more. 
One dark spellcaster type monster on the field gains 1,000 attack until the end of this turn. It says that if you have two or more in on the field or in the graveyard uh, this turn, your opponent cannot activate card or effects in response to the activation of your spell slash trap cards and effects. Also, spell trap cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And if you have three or more Dark Magician or Dark Magician girls on the field or in the graveyard, you uh, all Dark Spellcaster type monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of this turn. So overall, it is a very awesome spell card that Dark Magician, Dark Magician girl got. Um, very tier one kind of spell card that these guys just gotten. So uh, I would like to mess around with this card, see how overpowered it kind of is. And uh, yeah, it's a very, very awesome card that they just got. The other two cards are for Tramids, which is the new Tramid uh, deck coming to Yu-Gi-Oh! So, this card reads that each time a Rock-type monster is normal summoned, gain 500 life points. If a Tramid monster is normal summoned, you can draw one card, then discard one card. If this face-up card is sent from the field zone to the graveyard, you can add one Tramid monster from your deck to your hand and you can only activate this uh, effect once per turn. So, looks pretty decent. The other spell that we have is Tramid King Golem. It is a field spell, uh, just like this one, and it reads that all rock-type monsters on the field gain 500 attack. If a tribe monster you control battles, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. If this face-up card is sent from the field zone to the graveyard, you can special summon one tribe monster from your hand. You can only activate this effect once per turn. So, it is a very awesome effect. Uh, Both of these cards can do some things. I would like to see more support for these later on. I presume that these aren't the only cards they're going to get. I bet they're going to get a lot more. So, uh, I could definitely see some potential in this deck. Uh, maybe. So, uh, seems like a rather fun deck to play. And I uh, can't wait for more support to come to them. And for the one other card that they gave to us, it's called Assault Blackwing uh, Animoro the Divine Swell. Alright, so you can make this by making one tuner plus one or more non-tuners. Uh, it is a 12 uh, it is a 12 level monster, so you obviously will have to adjust to that. Either get like a level 4 tuner and like a level 8 non-tuner or you know so forth. So if this card is synchro summoned using a black wing monster as material, it is treated as a tuner monster while face up on the field. It is a level 12, so uh, why it would be a tuner, I don't know. Uh, but as a tuner monster while face up on the field, cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can target one black wing monster in your graveyard. This card's level becomes the same level as that target's. Ah, that's that's where that's where it goes. That's why it becomes a tuner. Alrighty. Uh, you can only use this effect of Assault Blackwing Animaru, the Divine Swell, once per turn. If this card attacks and was Sinker summoned using only Sinker monsters as materials, it gains 3,000 attack during the damage step only. So, this card looks like a very beast card. Very, very fun. And, oh my gosh, this is this card's actually pretty hype. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this card update video. If you guys want to play... YGO Pro Dev Pro. Links will be down in my description box. And you guys can just download it and I'll play with these new cards for free and have fun. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys have a great day ahead of you. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Adios.